to greet every one of you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name under heaven and earth, for a man, woman, or child that be saved. I was sitting over there, and the Lord was bringing something back to me this morning about uh, uh, end days. That's a good subject, because that's where we're at. Amen. Amen. We are in the end days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to bring a little scene to you in the near future. Not, not very far into the future, but into the near future. Glory be to God. A church like this, we're having a service. All of a sudden, the doors break open on both sides. Soldiers come in with loaded guns and bayonets. And they said, we finally found you fanatics. You're going to die. We hate you. But we're going to give you one chance here. You fanatics, you can leave right now and save your life. Or you can stay and there will be bloodshed all over. It's your choice. Half the congregation got up and ran out the door to save their lives. The soldiers locked the doors, came up front, laid their rifles down, and said, thank God those unbelievers are gone. And now we can praise and worship Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that could happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because there are many people in this world that don't trust the Lord. They don't have any faith. But Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Amen. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's Jesus speaking. Glory be to God. Today's title, if we had a message, title to it, it's called Resist the Devil's Three Attacks, the physical attacks, the intellectual, and the moral. He tends to have a, a field day with him, with people, doesn't he? The, the intellectual, the scientists, and the professors, and oh, I can't believe, so science says thus and thus, science says evolution, science says this, and science says that. Because of their intellect. They can't understand the simple things of, of God. It's very simple. Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen? I mean, how much simpler could it be? But people are di dictated by their thoughts from the devil and the direction and they're deceived. They're deceived into doing the sins that they're doing. The devil tends to attack us primarily in three areas. Amen? The physical, the intellectual, and the moral. The Bible says resist the devil's attacks. Amen? But how many Christians actually resist the devil? The Bible says resist the devils and they will, they will flee from you. They will run from you. Amen? Amen? But you've got to resist them instead of entertaining them. And you'll find consistent victory over the enemy of your souls. But first, you've got to believe that, that Christ is who He says He is. Amen? If, if you don't believe, there's no faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. As Fred explained it uh, Thursday night, for I've known Fred Young for many, many, many years. Praise God. But do you have faith? That's where Christianity begins. It's based on, on faith. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If I didn't have faith, I certainly wouldn't be here. Man, I'm looking at $4,000 a month to pay these stupid bills. No, they're not stupid, but they're bills. i got to have faith. Hallelujah. It's not Amen. just coming to a court and hand me 
four thousand dollars and say, Here, here's the spent bills, money for the bills. It doesn't work that way. Praise God. Amen. This ministry is run on faith, trusting God. Hallelujah. And it's also one on faith and believe in you, praise God, the people of the men that come in here, that they're going to change. Amen? Amen. They're going to change. They're going to have a, a better life. They're going to have hope in their life. When they leave here, they're going to look at things a little different. Amen? Amen. They're going to look at things a little different. Glory be to God. When Senator Robert Kennedy was assassinated in 1968, some of you weren't even born then, do you remember Senator Kennedy? Billy Graham said, It seems as if a horde of violent demons has been loose, let loose in our country. And you know what? I think they're still let loose in our country. You look around, you look at the pornography. You look at the R-rated movies. The filthy movies. Now I'm not saying all R-rated movies are wrong. Because... Passion of the Christ was an R-rated movie because of the violence that was in it. But let's look at it realistically. Praise God. The Bible says, Let no filthy communication proceed out of your mouth, but what is only good and edifying to the glorious church of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Filth does not glorify God. Nudity does not glorify God. Sexual perversion does not glorify God. But yet, most of your movies are, are made up of what? Sex and violence and, and, and filthy language. Well, I like a good story, praise the Lord. But why does America, why does America have to show R-rated filthy movies? They don't have to, praise God. I believe they could make a lot of good television shows without the filth, the sex, and all these suggestions. Half these sitcoms on television, we don't allow it here because of the suggestions in them. They want you to, to fantasize. They want you to think about sex. They want you to... Uh, uh, a real life for you. Johnny... 44, the devil was a murderer from the beginning, wasn't he? The devil was a murderer from the beginning. The devil is a murderer. Physically, praise God, attacks against mankind. I lost America both wanted last night. Senseless killings. Mm. Senseless killings. Because all they want to do was kill. It's a spirit of murder. Look at all the census killings over in, in Iraq right now. Look at all the census killings here in Jacksonville, Florida. There is a, 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 a spirit of murder upon this city. 